Hi, uh, this is the second little video on the subject of simultaneous equations or systems of equations and it follows on from the first one. Now what do we do here with this pair of equations? Well let's try adding them as we did before. Oh, it doesn't really work because it hasn't simplified it, it hasn't eliminated either the x's or the y's. So adding doesn't work in this case so let's start it again and think what we can do. Well, there are two ways forward. We can subtract this time, because if we take a plus y away from a plus y, that's going to eliminate them. So let's subtract the bottom equation from the top equation and see what happens. Ah, that's OK, because we can continue from there by dividing both sides by 3, and then we've got our answer in a similar way to the ones we did before in the first video. But this time we subtracted the two equations. Now I'm going to show you another way of doing it, uh, which may um, suit what you've been taught, or you may find it easier. But we can turn it round so that you can add the two equations. And this would be by changing the signs in one of the equations. Now, if you multiply this bottom equation by negative 1, minus 1, it has the effect of changing all the signs in it everything gets changed from plus to minus in this case. Now when we add the two equations we can proceed because we have eliminated the y's and we just continue as before dividing through by 3 to get our solution. Here's another example and I'm quickly going to show you three ways of doing that. We'll start off by taking away the top from the bottom by pressing this button and you can see that we've now simplified, we've eliminated the x's this time and we can continue dividing by 2. Let's start again and subtract or take away the other way around, take the bottom away from the top. Well it's just as easy, we just divide through now by negative 2 or minus 2 and we can continue that way ending up at the same solution. Or else we can multiply either of these equations through by minus 1, negative 1 and see what happens when we add the two equations. Let's, uh, let's take the top one this time Multiply through that by uh, minus 1. Now add the two equations and once again we've got to the situation we've seen before and we can solve the whole problem. Here's another example, this time with some negative terms and I'm going to do that in three ways as well. First of all, let's uh, multiply the top equation through by negative 1. See what happens. Now when we add we can get to a situation where dividing through by 11 helps us to continue. Ah, oh, didn't do that correctly, so do it again. Dividing through by 11 gives us the uh, uh, proper answer there. Start again, this time do some subtracting right from the start. Let's take the top away from the bottom, like that. Once again, dividing through by 11 is going to allow, enable us to continue, or else we do the subtracting the other way around take the bottom away from the top, this time we're left with a negative 11 so we divide through by that, negative 11 and we continue getting the same answer in each of the three different ways. Here's another example, uh, this time well notice that there's a 6x in both of these so subtracting the two equations is going to work, Shall we start off by subtracting the bottom from the top yes that's going to work because that uh, just means we have to divide through by 3 to continue on to our solution. Shall we start again? Now, say we, we don't like subtracting, we need to add the two. We have to multiply the top or the bottom by negative 1, minus 1. Let's do the bottom this time. Multiply that by minus 1. Now when we add the two equations, we'll get something very similar to the last time and we can solve that very quickly just by dividing by 3. Here's yet another example, and this time the y's are both the same, they've both got minus 7 in front of them, or negative 7 in front of them. What happens if we add them? Well, that isn't going to work, but uh, if we subtract either way, then we get, we'll get rid of them, although they're both negatives, subtracting them, we'll get rid of them just as if they were positive. So, yes, that's a way forward. Once again, we could uh, multiply through one of these terms by negative 1 and add. Let's do the bottom one this time. 
doesn't matter which one. But if we now add the two equations, the 7 y's will vanish because they're different signs. Plus 7 minus 7 give us 0. So adding them together, we've got something that we can divide through by 2 and continue on to the solution. Well, just like uh, the previous video, all these examples are brought to you on a free applet from waldemath.com uh, where you can actually generate new problems for yourself and solve them. For instance, just quickly look at that one. If we subtract the two, we'll eliminate the x's. But if this time, if we subtract the two, we'll eliminate the y's. By the way, um, in this case, x is going to turn out to be 0 because uh, dividing that through y. And there's nothing wrong with x being 0. That's or, or y. Zero is a possibility in these questions. Let's have another one. Once again, subtracting the two uh, will get rid of those uh, two 5x terms. So visit Waldemass if you want to play around with this applet, which is free on waldemass.com.